take that current risk. The other thing too is Rose, stop eating raw meat. I need, look, Mark, not that. I had people out here hauling shit. And now nobody is hauling this shit. So now it's going to get hauled. Uh, sure, Odd can eat that, I guess. He could definitely eat that. Hawker, Megasoft. Where are you, mate? Hawker, Social, Mother. Yeah, no, not original. Interesting, though. Fucking probably first generation. Bonded to Kangaroo. Are you bonded to Brim's wife? Oh, no. Uh, friend, acquaintance. No. Okay, cool. It's the other Kangaroo. Thank God. That would be interesting. Ravenously hungry. All right, now I guess I can do the trades. The only problem is my traders are injured. I also have two traders around here that I don't know if they're allies to each other. I don't even know if they like each other. Now I've got to find somebody to do a trade. Hey, Lumi. You could do 10. I know that Labia is in injured at the moment. Shall I do? Uh, not that. It's animals. Sloan, Grasshopper, all you guys, Cooks, Franklin should be medical, Ginseng, Walt, there's E, E should be cooking, construction, um, Labia's down here hurt, she's too hurt to do a trade successfully, I need somebody that can like basically powerhouse this shit, so I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking for like somebody that can actually do it, Aerie's still in attention, I'm gonna have to check the hospital in a minute, to make sure that I don't have people just staying there. Oh yeah, we've lost 15 people in total since winter, by the way. We also, the same animals that died have died again. So yeah, it's been very interesting. The same people, same animals, except for like the legacy people, which I've gone really out of my way to try to keep alive. Like all the other people that died originally have died. The animals that died originally have died. So Zanya, you can do it. You can do social shit, can't you? Uh, you are about to break though. I'll take that risk. Let's go for a trade, mate. I don't know which one this is, but go down there. Uh, a combat supplier. All right. Um, I'm gonna have to find somebody else to trade a few. There's seahorse actually. You could do it. Sane's force hiding in their room. Uh, lasagna is coming down to you. Hold on. Wait, I sent lasagna to you. That's fine. Uh, she can do that. Alright. I should have... What? What? Promoto. Ravenously hungry. Yeah, that's not the best spot to decide to do that in. Instead of getting Radma in that, leave him alone. He's going to medical. You lot are going to be plenty enough. I don't even know if I can hit the guy. There. Yeah. Let's find out. Uh, let's tentative say that. Yeah, the game has been trying to wipe out very specific people I've noticed. Very interesting. Emmy is... Did you get in a punch up or did you go down by yourself? Emmy's got two hours. I don't think you're going to make it to a hospital. See how this goes. If, oh, like, I lost a lot of panthers and shit, but, like, I could do that again very easily. Just see if she makes it to the hospital and she gets tended to. She's got two hours. That's, like, a, a minute or two. Who's stopping this guy? He's going to walk outside and get his ass handed to him. There you go. I mean, apart from, like, the people chasing him six hours, you'll be fine. I meant, like, if he walks outside, somebody's going to, like, legitimately probably just shoot him. Where are you? I don't want the hidden conjure. It's not rescuing anybody. All right, see how that goes. And if what's her face, Emmy can get to hospital, wherever she is, there. If she can get to hospital without dying, I won't reload. If she dies, we're gonna go back and see how we go with the um, the fucking defoliator ship. I find it interesting that the game is sending me things to destroy my crops. I was expecting blight. Personally, because I'm like, Blight would be 100% going to just wipe out like a large area um, of like my crops and stuff. What I could do is before doing a battle, 
I could choose to go and do the trade and fuck them off my map and then see how that goes. I'm going to need more space than that too, apparently. See how it goes. Like, I may have to fix this up. I just moved all the squares inside and just made them, like, small areas until I could, like, sort out getting uh, proper storage for them. Tantrum. God, everybody was friends with Buffalo. I got he's moving a mile a minute. I got a desk and put it in place. Oh, yeah. If you feel up to it, if you want to, like, share a photo and stuff in IRL Discord, you can. Death the Panther. What? Still going. Like, 30 screws in. Lock. One round of worm. Worm, that ain't gonna happen, but sure. Um, actually, until I can see if... Ventrum Emmy. Is Emmy the one that was supposed to be going... No, Airy. Airy was. Hold on. Let's see if Airy is in hospital yet. Or is she still being carried? Are you carrying her? Yeah, you are. What are you doing, Phoenix? Fucking crack and flap in your ears. You got one hour on her. I'll be honest, I'm going back. <laughs> I, I think she's going to literally get put into hospital and then that's it. Raid 1 is when they're circled around it. Let's go Raid 2. I don't have to attack it straight away. I could literally let everybody like exist and I could do my trade. I could save it as a regular save and then I can attack them in like the following daytime when everybody's not tired. I'm having to like tactfully fucking change my approach to so many of these fucking battles just because like my colonists literally just can't deal. Um, like everybody's like a little on edge. Nobody's getting good food. Everybody's like not sleeping where they want to be. All sorts of shit, right? Um, so yeah, I'm trying to like accommodate that shit. I saw self-aware down here. She, she is social. Let's go for it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to accommodate them with it, but, um, like it's resulting in like coming back to battles. Like this colony from yesterday. What? I feel like this, what? I feel like this comedy. Uh, I, I might need you like rewrite that, unfortunately. Shadow, if you could. Um, I will look confused. Let's go social, social down the bottom. Like, for instance, I did pop open the uh, attack quest, uh, the uh, ancient danger, sorry, and it ended up being like there's mechs in there. So I had to put that aside too, and I'll have to battle that later. Like, there's just certain things I'm having to, like, not proceed with in order to. Like, I'm navigating, like, this constantly closing passage with this colony. And, like, the the amount of, like, openings for me to keep moving forwards with them is becoming, like, less and less depending on the scenarios. Like, they're trying. Um, not food. Are you the combat one? Yeah, you are. Okay, I don't need, like, wooden Gladys and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I made wooden Gladyses and stuff. I have got one more food trader, I think, coming. I'll tell you that. If I was to, like, get anything, I'd want to get, like, metal shit. I could have guns. Guns would be great. So, no food, no sleep. All messed up. Chaotic and on the brink of falling over. So tired and sore from moving. Been work today as well. Yeah. I appreciate you retapping that for me. I, I get it. But, uh, yeah, it's basically been that. Like, we're in spring. We're, like... Went that through spring, but like shit's still like this. Um, and I think shit's gonna stay like this until probably the end of summer. Like, I feel like we're gonna be going like a full rotation all the way round into like next winter, where it's gonna be the same shit. I'm also still gonna be like trying to get ready for harsh winter. But yeah, no, we are very slowly progressing. It's just that like every time I encounter something, I have to kind of like take two steps back and one step forwards kind of thing. So not even that, like sometimes we are actually moving forwards, but it's just so few and far between. Like I want to get them good shit, but I have to prioritize giving them like, for fuck's sake, like, this would have been worth thousands, but one of my fucking idiots went and nearly destroyed it. So now it's worth, like, 40 bucks. Like, it's insulting. 
you know, I, I get 40 bucks for that when it would have been like two grand. Two grand would have got me some ammo and some other shit kind of thing. The other thing too is I want to get them weapons. What was that? I want to get them weapons and I want to get them good stuff, like entertainment stuff, and I can't do any of that yet. And, like, I have to be patient. But I also don't have patience for the shit. Like, I just want to, like, progress the story. But I also know that, like, with Colony this huge, at this point, I'm literally... I feel like I'm nearly playing some fucking chess or something. Like, it's just, like, I can't get the guns that I want to get. I can sell some of the gladiuses that are made out of wood. And that will give me a little bit more money towards food. Like... That's the kind of like checkmate situation that I'm like dealing with. Also, Onesan, get rid of them. Get rid of them and then a whole of the medicine because we're going to need that. Um, like I am getting power, I'm getting enclosures, I'm getting more beds. I'm starting to get some food. We're not technically low food. We've got like 11,000 berries and 13,000 potatoes at any given time at the minute. Which is great. I don't have that many people cooking. I don't really have wood spare to uh, run the the fuel stoves, stuff like that. Like it's um, it's a it's, it's a lot of like, what can I can't I do, kind of thing. And the choices I'm trying to make, are trying not to destroy the colony. I'm trying to make sure that they can maybe make it through this, because this has been its own unique kind of like catastrophe in a way like i generally am fighting up against like mechs and raiders and other shit right not my like trying to keep my colony alive they're normally like pretty self-sufficient but if we hadn't moved here with like no food uh we wouldn't be in this position in the first place it wouldn't be a struggle but if it wasn't a struggle it wouldn't be interesting you know i don't know how many people are going to make it through to see summer like, we lost 15 people in the space of, like, a few days. Like, we're down to 247 people since Linda died. I don't know if whoever I sent over here is actually coming over here. It's not looking like they are. Um, but, yeah. And we had 262. It's, like, 247. Who was supposed to be coming here? Ah, uh, Silverware? Yeah, there she is. I was gonna say I'm like I'm I'm keeping an eye out. I also like the fact that we've got somebody here called Dick, so that's funny. Lobster's just hanging around this group too. You guys have ducks, goats. I just want to make sure I do this trade with them, I get shit from them, and they go. Because I have other traders coming. I got like maybe one more trader coming, and I don't want there to be like this stuff hanging around. I want your steel. I've got enough components at the moment. I could kind of hold out with that. Steel means I can get like electronics and other stuff around the place. Get rid of those couple of crappy things. I apparently didn't sell that somehow. Um, I would love to get books, but we cannot afford it. And I'm not able to make new clothes because I keep selling all the leathers. We also don't get, oh, it's just barely. We don't get enough animals coming in at the moment, so I'm trying to breed enough animals, but we had to cull two-thirds of the colony's animals to survive winter. So, like, it's kind of like a little bit shit with that. Like, I'll probably still cull off some of the panthers. Um, just like, four dollars too much. What could I put back? Maybe I c I'm not putting back steel or anything like that. Is there anything else I touch? No. Um, I can't sell any of that. I could sell you like one of the bionics or something. I could sell you eleven dollar prosthetic heart. That must be in really shit condition. If that's the case. Somebody's gonna have a heart attack and need that though. So there. Alright, we can just barely make that and we can get some food and some ducks and all sorts of shit. So where can you send them home? Cool. Uh, let's get, leave the ducks alone. Pull the rat meat out of here. And I'll get silverware if you could before you completely fuck off. Can you take the chocolate inside? There we go. Alright, so hopefully we have a few 
additional bits of meat. What I will do is I know that we had, I'm getting a lot of um, named panthers. My only concern with this is I would like it to be primarily female creatures getting up into this area with like only like one or two males if I can. But yeah, the panther situation, like it's coming through and stuff, but I don't know if, oops, I don't know if something's going on here or if it's just like the last thing that they teach him is rescue because let's take a look at like another animal because it's usually available the whole way through it's just one of those ones that you tick and my panthers aren't having that so I'm thinking that they haven't been handled enough that's my thought process I know that these have got like people with them but I'm just gonna cull them straight up it's gonna give us a lot of food I know that I could use them in battle and they could die that way and stuff but I think if I wipe them out and just start with whatever breeds from whatever is an adult because a lot of these are juveniles and I think I'd rather just work with having like a good collection of like adult panthers in the group and see if I go with that but yeah this defoliator and stuff I'm not too honestly worried about it I'm more worried about somebody having a tantrum kicking it <laughs> and like starting it because there's nothing down here that's like going to get wiped out that I give a fuck about it's in the most stupid spot for what it's supposed to be doing it's going to take ages to spread I could leave it there I don't think it like upsets anybody my only concern with it is somebody kicking it and like waking it up that's it um as far as everything else goes like they've planted out most of my areas um maybe not this one as much as I wanted but there's trees the worst thing it could do is like take out the trees which I do need wood so maybe that is an issue what are these ones too are they fueled they are so I did move fuel stoves I'll tell you what I do want to keep one fueled stove right but let's move it over here actually we'll move two okay we'll move both of these over here where they can get used and the rest of these I will deconstruct because I'm not using them because I've moved a couple out of where I want them to be so let's get rid of all of that I have I got these set to deconstruct because that's what it looks like it looks like just nobody's doing it I get yeah they are okay so they're set to like not fuel and deconstruct and nobody's coming in here to do that no me uh Psychotic Wandering, you're fine. She's mostly fine. Um, I love how much they're getting the limestone flooring down everywhere. I can pretty much allow most of this, like, bedding area at the moment, but I wouldn't mind, like, closing this back area. Plus, it'd be great if they could, like, work on this. or well, this area, this would be great, too. Because this is all slate. So if this isn't getting built and it's, like, the closest one, then I don't have spare slate. Oh yeah, they're all in here. Fair. They're all like very young. They're all like juveniles and stuff. This area is going to get kitted out with animals so quickly. Yeah, ideally I'd love to like get rid of the ancient danger because like I was like keen to get rid of it until I fucking opened it and everybody was like a sourpuss about the whole fucking situation. And I'm like, fine, go home. I'll, I'll reload. Um... And then this lot I want to get rid of. So I want to try to get rid of them first because they're the most obvious threat. But I'll get a lot of steel from them. So that wouldn't be too bad. But I'll wait till morning. Everybody can sleep. Everybody can get their sleep. Then I'll try to get the people that are supposed to be doing stuff. I'll get them out there. Fine. Can I get you to... Can you move stuff? Um, don't prioritize cleaning dirt. You work on moving the deep drill. Uh, orange gave up. Greedy for impressive bedroom. Mate, you ain't getting one. Um, pretty sure I have to arrest give ups. Um, don't do that. Can you, yeah, arrest him. This will be great because then everybody will try to jailbreak. I will stretch and hydrate. Thank you, Shadow. God, my back is actually like really sore. I think I've been like sitting up too straight or something or I just haven't moved around for a while. 
Yes, I didn't really want them to be in prison because I still have a whole bunch of people that are like shitty about, you know, the whole cannibal incident thing. Gotta go, need to set up my setup. No worries. Have fun. Um, maybe look forward to photos if that's something you might be doing. Otherwise, yeah, I'll catch you around. I'll be here tomorrow. No stream Thursday and Friday out of interest for everybody. I, I need to remember to say that like every now and then. But yeah, no, no stream Thursday and Friday. Diablo is tomorrow though. Yeah, a bit more of my drink. Um, let's see you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I'll be playing Diablo tomorrow. That'd be interesting playing it on a different day. Like, I sometimes wonder when I play games on different days. This is why I don't mind doing stuff on random game night. Is it kind of takes me out of the day that it's usually up and people might not be available to, like, see it at that time or that day. But they might spot me on another day and they might like something else I do. Why are you exhaling like you're cold? Is it? It's 17 degrees outside. I wouldn't imagine that being too cold. Inspired trade, old pigeon. Uh, it's a little late. You have you have a social of three. Sweetheart, go home. Go go back to sleep. You're dreaming. Colonists died. Yes, colonists did die. Probably Lumi's probably making everybody upset at the moment too, actually. Um geez, fucking boom rat things. Yeah, so anyway, once I call the like juvenile panthers and oh man we actually have meat we have shit getting stored on the floor i guess like my panthers are bringing shit in nice it's good to see from my perspective also i see that they're getting around the egg issue with the floor you sneaky cunts you absolute bastards give me this i said that they weren't allowed to store any of the uh what you call it any of the fertile eggs at all on these benches so you know what they fucking did right is they immediately just toss them on the ground where the fertile eggs can stay in here which means occasionally i'll have like chicks and stuff hatch in this area so that's the thing now i'm pretty sure if i change one it should change them all yeah we can have insects and jellies and stuff like that animal products all that stuff that's fine in here can we also have what resources have none of that all right so that's gonna solve the egg problem i don't know if like the fertile ones that are in here they're just gonna be ruined by temperature they put them outside a cat will snack on them that's basically what's gonna happen with that um but also have we got all this insect meat in here hold on where did that get transferred in that was in here no it has not fur you are hauling insect meat. Okay, fur's already on it. Brillo, you are hauling deep drill. Blue, mate, can you... Uh, Lottie is one of the panthers, that's fine. I guess you're on it. Dodsworth's also hauling that. God damn, is that going to expire out here? Maybe. It's got two days. If people are around the clock trying to take this up into, like, the uh, bridge, we should maybe be okay. How much? I guess Lottie can carry all of that. I don't know where Dodsworth is, but I guess every time somebody finishes picking up this, somebody else is going to come and pick it up, so that's not really a huge issue. Now that my deep drills are moved from here, which I don't mind, they're now over here. I actually don't mind them being here. I don't really know how to express it, but I did like it when I when they were in this like little section here. It was like a, a good little like nook kind of thing and while this looks like it's so rammed up against the fucking wall like i wonder where is the other drill supposed to be did somebody destroy a drill are we making a new one i think somebody might be supposed to be moving it from somewhere i don't see a line to it also, Phoenix is howling for the sake of howling, if you guys happen to hear that. He does this shit at night. It's it's dark out there. He, he's got to, like, I don't know. He's not really got to, like, assert any dominance or anything like that. He's just got to, like, I know, he's got his fascination with screaming out the window at night. 
I don't get it either, cats. Um, but yeah, he'll he'll do that. He does it when we're sleeping too. Don't don't get us wrong. He'll he'll just be like, oh, you're in this room. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just gonna walk out here and and then he just like starts belting out like random screams as if he's like panicked and stuff. I'm like, I assume he's disorientated. Okay, that's that's my entire like assumption of the situation is he's like walked out of the room and I'm not out there and it's dark and that's a problem. I assume that that's all it is because I can't fucking think for the life of me what else it would be. Also considering putting all the lights on in here because I did install them and I've got side tables. If I put side tables in all of this they'd probably make it all. I'd like them to realistically like finish doing all the bedrooms before they do that. I also don't know if I'm gonna leave these as they are or if I might just make them like narrow hallways or something like two-piece hallways where animals can also get in here for more food. Because originally I had it like closed off for heating but I don't know if I need it like both ends kind of thing. Like I could increase this grow room by like that much is what I'm talking about. And I could do it too because I've got enough space with that. Uh, the lights would have to move down a little bit, but still, it wouldn't be a bad idea. You know, it just as long as like one of the directions I've got access to like heaters or they can get in here and stuff, you know, that's the main thing. I also think Azula has found like an insect of some description because she's following something around the room. I don't know what it is, I can't see it. It's fine. It's like both spider season and you know it's warming up so creatures getting around. So it's either that or fuck knows of what it is. She'll be fine. She doesn't tend to follow anything that's actually genuinely dangerous. Notice. She like sit and observe it at a distance if she's not sure. Ravenously hungry. It's fine. Uh, everybody's up during the day. There are so many people that are like upset. And I'd love to grab- oh I forgot about you. Um, you, uh, yeah, of course you hate this colony. Orange has been in here a few times, actually. How's your health situation going? Because I've had a few issues with Orange, and I'm starting to wonder if I should dock his health. Buff by blue, mate. Flip the heat, buffalo died. So, if it's getting warm, they probably want, like, passive coolers and shit. I don't have any heaters on. By the look of it. I also don't have any vents through these rooms. So I thought about initially I was going to go like door to door with it. But I'm actually thinking of going like room to room sort of thing. Although that would duplicate the amount of uh, metal I would need for that. Also that room is not sealed. Insulting spree. That's fine. I'm just looking for if there's any rooms in here that are not quite complete because sometimes it's difficult to just spot. Uh, I'll notice it like later. But yeah, with all like the construction and shit going on, sometimes it's difficult. If they would finish this, I could probably close up that area. Well, not 100%, but like, yeah. That and I guess here. And here. If I get that and that door, if that door is not allowed, that should kind of close up this section a little bit. And I'd be able to get rid of the fence and stuff there. So maybe. Alright. Salting spree because tired. Ate raw food. We've got people cooking. We're trying. <coughs> Sorry. Um, let's get those fueled. I've got wood here. I have a bit of my drink, hold on. Um. I just knew I was gonna like cough them. Like one of the few times where I'm like, I'm aware that's coming. Um, what else do I need? Pretty much my colony should be on track for like surviving. Like this is coming up great. I kind of wish they'd actually put some of it on like the fucking things, but this doesn't surprise me. Also, animal products. Where is like raw meat? Oh, they're fucking... That's why it's all on the floor. 
What the fuck, you lot? I must have copied it over to from one that was like kind of broken or something. But that explains why everything's on the fucking floor. My people, I swear. I can never have a fucking moment where they're not doing something insane. Is this the other ones alright? Yeah, just no fertile eggs. Alright, that's fine. Now shit's gonna go back on this, because holy crap, that explains what's going on with why all the things are empty and why the floor's full. I've been looking at that, I'm like, oh this place looks really full, and then like, wait, there's just benches in here that are like taking up space. Instead of, you know, being used. Also, I think I could plasteel for one of my traits. What are you doing, Phoenix? Can't climb on me at the moment. Phoenix is fucking trying. It's my cat frame, but it doesn't know. So it's Azul. Um, but yeah, Phoenix only likes to like climb up and like sleep on my chest and stuff. And he's like, maybe I can get away with that now. And I'm like, you can see the Rimworld creatures are running around. It's clearly not time. Cooler, 30%. Law. <laughs> Sorry. It's 32% cooler. Um, somebody will appreciate that. Maybe one of these can be like, that one's 27%. It's getting closer. Close enough, but the 37% sounds right. I know it's supposed to be 20, but still. You guys are just destroying these air conditioners, aren't you? So I do want to get them some kind of like air conditioning up in their rooms and stuff. But I don't know if for the moment, temperature, I would like to pop like some proper passive coolers in here. This isn't going to like help that. Each room having one would require so much uh, wood. It really would. Maybe I can put that there for the moment. I can probably open up these bond doors and get like this whole area kind of cooled. Maybe. Who's that from Bad Dream Hells looking around where I can tell 